Okay? If vector V is in our first vector space V, then I'm going to write V as X1, V1. up through Xn, Vn. Okay. Now, let me, uh, since you just got back, I just went on with the notation here in an obvious way, okay? Okay. Now, V is going to be any vector in the vector space V. Then, V has to be a unique linear combination of the vectors in the basis, right? Okay. So we can represent V by this column vector. Okay? Okay, well, what is our transformation of the vector V? Well, let's see, it's T applied to this representation of the vector V. Now this representation depends on what the V1 through the Vn are, okay? But there's a transformation. By linearity, which you've got to apply a number of times and use kind of mathematical induction, but anyhow, that's X1 times T of V1. plus dot 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 xn to vm, right? Because of linearity, this thing acts kind of like it distributes over plus, and then your constants can come out. That's what your two properties of linearity effectively do. Okay? So t of v is this. Okay? But of course, that means T of V1 is this, right? Got to smooth this board out a little bit. Okay. Plus X2 multiplied by A21W1 up to A that one I wrote this down never mind And it's not A21. I mean, right there is A12, right? So why did I write A21? I was looking at this. Now, I don't know. Hey. <laughs> I almost did it again. A12. And then it's AM2. And the thing I was looking at was, wait a minute, if it's 21 here, it can't be M2 there, can it? Okay, you got to be careful. So it's this, right?
that's an MN there, a little hard to read. And that's a W M. That M is really hard to read. I just wrote it and I can't read it. Um, okay. Well, anybody see the results of a matrix multiplication in this mess? Look at it for a minute. 